Please, I shall miss our adventures together. Oh, et voir. <laughs> oh, she gave that shit. She said, I'm with a new nigga. What are you talking about? I'm with a new nigga. Yo, that's crazy. It's a convince guests to break up with their loved ones. Wow. Deliver breakup letters and give them advice. Oh, shit. Watch the drama. Oh, God. You, you oh, no. Your mouth in this game has more miles on it than super heads. That's crazy. You're nasty for saying that. Let me get that hair real quick. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Put some shades on, you know what I'm saying? Put them, them glasses on, you know what I'm saying? Alright, let's see. The oh, fuck? Beast in bed? Okay, alright. Romeo. What the hell? Ah, fair traveler. What merry mischief doubts thou bring to this festive occasion? Hi, Romeo. Thy has some astounding news to tell thee about Juliet. <laughs> she has coupled up with a different kin. <laughs> Alas, this news does pierce my heart the sharpest dagger. I must. I must away for my soul. Yeah. <laughs> oh, failed to get a breakup letter. Oh, they're supposed to trust me. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, okay, okay. Let me, let me, let me. Uh, put this shit on. Actually, let me, let me put the therapist shit on her. Yes, we to him again. Where he at? Come here, Romeo. You bitch ass nigga. Hold on, hold on. Oh! Hey, baby, Baba! Ah! Fair stranger! Dost thou bring mirth to this festival evening? What thy therapy gone? <laughs> ah, yes, sure. Um. Yo, um. I need to ask you something about, uh, Juliet. Speak thy mind, good therapist. What ails thee concerning my fair Juliet? Yo, I heard that she said that your breath stinks whenever you be kissing her, bro. And I don't think that's a good thing, you know, talking about it behind your back. Hello. Oh. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh, well, that's what she said. Oh, I don't want it. Daisy, Daisy Buckingham. Oh, darling. How positively delightful to meet you. Let's chat about something more thrilling than therapy, shall we? Jay Gatsby. All right. Daisy, how are you, dear? How are you? Are how are you doing on this lovely evening? Oh, darling therapist, I simply couldn't be better. The evening is divine, just like me. How are you doing, dear? I'm just fine. I'm just fine. Um, say, I heard something about uh Jay. I was, huh? Oh, Jay. Uh, isn't he the uh, just the cat's pajamas? Well, have you heard my dear therapist? Hmm. What can I say? What can I say? Well, it's not so much heard. I pretty much saw him uh, being giggled up with Juliet. Man. 
Oh dear. Oh, therapist. Must I defeat such tittle tattle? It's simply preposterous. Jay would never betray me. Perhaps Julia simply mistook his charming nature for something more. Hmm. Girl, well, it looked like to me that it seems like he was uh, entertaining her. <laughs> How dare you, dare You a bitch. Whatever. Whatever. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. What are you supposed to be? A therapist trying to fix my problems? Ha! Who needs a therapist when you, you have a castle full of enchanted objects? Well, that's not what Bell said. Oh, yeah. What did Bell say? Don't you dare twist the words. Well, she said that you, you're not a beast down there and some things are not enchanted. <laughs> she said the beast down there is, is nothing more than a little pup i said wow that's crazy you should be talking like about beasts like that yeah, And she said that you can't even put the enchantments on her, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Big dog, she's saying that you're lousy in bed. I think you should talk to her or something about that. Perhaps write a letter to her instead of, instead of saying, like, you can't be talking about me like that. Hey. Lousy in bed. That's it. I'm done with this. I can't believe she was saying such things. Maybe I'm gonna make a letter to You're costing me for adventure and I'm not some magical skills in bed. Here's uh, here's hoping you find someone with both charm and better enchantment abilities. Yo! Yo! How how could B say say these things? Should I storm into the castle right now and confront him, Shanny? What should I say to him? Uh, say to him when I see him. Girl, I think you should keep your distance. That is big one angry man. Mm-mm. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, huh? I can't believe you say some simple things to me. You think I'm a, 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 a capable of enchanting you? <laughs> you oh, I don't know. Me, me. I simply want more romance and magic in our relationship. You still have much to learn, and well, about the other thing, is it really my fault? If you can't measure my fault. Oh. oh my God! How dare you, pal? I'm a mighty fearsome beast. I deserve better than this.
I don't want to even sprinkle yeah, on the ground. Oh, Beast, you can't be serious. I tried to teach you. Magic is always about the spells and curses. It's about the heart. But if you truly believe this is the end, then I shall hey, respect your decision. Have Fine, Belle. I will find someone who appreciates my beastly charm and powerful enchantments. This is the goodbye. Ah! <laughs> Farewell, Beast. I shall miss our adventures together. Au revoir. <laughs> That nigga still do over here doing a healing toe. Oh, well, goodbye, bitch. I don't even want to fuck you. I'll quit you anyway. I wasn't even going to talk to you, bitch. I'm talking to Grandma Mode. Ah, uh, well. She said, well, hello, darling. Hello there, darling. How lovely to see you uh, at this Valentine's party. Oh, the memories of young love. It warms. My old heart. Hey, Grandma Maud. How you doing on this fine evening? You look so radiant today. Oh, thank you, Derry. I'm just enjoying the company and the music. Charles and I make the <laughs> Charles and I make quite the pair, don't you think? Oh, not what I've heard from Charles. Uh oh. Charles is over over there speaking to Beast, and I heard some things. I'm ready. Oh dear, what exactly did you hear, sweetie? Charles can be quite the storyteller, but I'm sure uh, it's all just a harmless fun. Well, apparently he said your your baked cookies are garbage. He said that he just gets turned off from it. Man. How dare you repeat such lies? Charles would never. Aww. Aww. Grandma Ma. Grandma Ma. Alright, bet, 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 bet. I gotta switch my outfit. Hold on. I gotta put on. Different hair, different hair, different hair. Different hair, different hair, different hair. Uh oh. -uh, okay, okay, okay. Yep, 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 yep. What the hell? Oh, oh, oh. What's up, Grandma? How you doing? I'm on the just PC. Thank you for asking, dear. How about yourself? Keep it busy with the janitorial duties. Oh, cool, Grandma. I'm cool. Yeah, I'm on break right now. I'm just relaxing. How's the festivities doing for you? I'm having a cool time. I'm having a cool time. Um, say, Grandma, I, I just hope you and Charles are okay. Oh, how kind of you to ask, Derry. Charles and I are just dandy. No need to worry about us, but enough about us. Tell me more about how you joined the, the, the party. I'm kind of enjoying the party, but, um, yeah, Grandma, I think there's something I need to tell you about Charles. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness, dearie, please do. Tell me, what is it that you need to tell me about, to, to, to share about Charles? I'm all ears. Well, Granny, I, I kind of heard him speaking to Juliet. And he said that he likes a younger cooter cat. No. No. Come on, don't do me like that. Come on. Well, I, I kind of seen him uh, speaking to Juliet over there. And he was telling her that he kind of wants a younger cooter cat. That doesn't sound like my Charles, but I trust your eyes, dear. Do you have any other details about this conversation? <laughs> oh, shit. Well, he did say that, that he likes her younger body. As you did say, he is kind of mysterious. 
Uh, no. Oh mm -hmm. goodness gracious, Charles is full of surprises indeed. I appreciate you for letting me know, dear. I'll have a little chat with him later. Thank you for watching out for me. No problem, Granny. And there were some things that Julia, Juliet said to uh, Charles that is quite crazy. Oh, my. Do tell me. <laughs> what crazy things did Julia say to my Charles? I'm quite intrigued by scandalous gossip. Well, she did say to Charles that she could be a better woman than you could ever be. And Charles fell for it. Mm -hmm. Oh, the nerve of that young lady. I find it quite hard for Charles to be entertained with such disrespectful words. Are you absolutely sure that, about what you heard? I'm pretty sure, Granny. And Charles said that he likes a younger lady with more energy. Mm hmm Oh. Okay, okay. That wasn't exactly bad. Where's where's Charles? Where's uh, Charles at? Where's Charles at? Hold on. Oh. What are you talking about? Well, well, well. <laughs> you nigga call me a mop jockey? Pause. That sounds crazy. Brother man, Charles. Brother man, brother man, brother man. I got uh, something to tell you. Go ahead. Spit it out, Jenny. What's on your mind? I overheard Grandma Ma talking to Bella, and she pretty much said that she's cheating on you with Romeo for uh, money. Man. <laughs> but. Have you seen anything suspicious lately? Well, I did see her lollygagging with Romeo in the bushes, uh, not like a couple minutes ago. <laughs> you better not be stringing me along, Janitor. Tell me everything you saw and make it quick. Well, Romeo told her, I shall give you thy sword. And then Granny lifted her up her dress. I was, huh? <laughs> Charles, it was too explicit to even say. I, I I saw enough. I couldn't I couldn't handle it anymore. It was too crazy, too graphic. I call, he said, I call Wynn from the janitor about your little rendezvous in the bushes with Romeo and your scandalous dress lifting act. That's the last straw, mod. We're through. Oh. 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 Oh, I feel so bad. Talking to Grandma Mod. Oh, my stars and goddess. The nerve of that man. I must find Charles A. Boomer in this incident, give him a piece of my mind. What on earth should I say to that scallywag, dear janitor? Tell him that Romeo did better. Hello, I love. By Joe, that's brilliant. I shall afford the schedule, Charles. That even Romeo did better. Ha <laughs> ha This is nasty work, bro. Yo. Grandma Ma, I can't believe what you what the janitor told me. You were <laughs> wow. Oh you know you know Romeo did better with his sandwiches did better than yours and Gardy's skills are superb. Oh Yo how dare you <laughs> compare me to that scout. What the hell? Hooray, I can finally upgrade your bland casserole. <gasps> Delectable sandwiches, good for this. I don't know, I don't know. Fine, go enjoy Romeo's sandwiches then. But mark my words, Grandma Ma, you'll regret losing the best darn casserole you cooked in town. Oh, don't worry, Charles. I'll be fine without your casseroles. Romeo can cook, clean, and garden. I'll be living my best life without you, sweetie. Ooh, that's a black woman's response. God damn.
Oh, she gave that shit. She said, I'm on a new nigga. Fuck are you talking about? I'm on a new nigga. Yo, that's crazy. She gave that shit. Hey, ooh, hey, grab my ball in this bitch. Ooh, hey. Hey, what the fuck? Yo, grab my ball. You nasty with it, yo, Granny Chill. You can't be doing all these niggas like that. That's crazy, bro. That's crazy. That's crazy, bro. Grandma Ma hitting that bitch. Jesse, who you who you who you with? Hold on. Jesse, who you with? Emmett. Happy relationship with Emmett. Well howdy partner. What in the uh 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 Bro Bat Mountain shit is this bro? Oh god, leave the conversation, leave the conversation. I got I gotta talk. He was talking about to Elizabeth? Elizabeth Bennett? Where where uh where uh, uh Emmett at? My boy, my boy! Son! 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 Hmm. Well, Howdy, partner! I just get up you got there. How you doing, Emmett? How, how, how's everything? <laughs> uh, doing fine. Thank you kindly. Just enjoying the company of a fresh in the fresh air. Well, the air won't be so fresh after I tell you what happened. Uh -huh. What's the ruckus, fella? Tell me straight. Well, it has to do with uh, Jesse and Elizabeth. <laughs> Jesse and Elizabeth, huh? What's the fuss about them two? Well, it seems like uh, Jesse was fancying uh, Elizabeth over there after I heard the way they were talking to each other. <laughs> uh, so, well, seems like Jesse might be wandering where he shouldn't be. <laughs> oh, he said to he said to Elizabeth that. He wants to swim with the fishes, and your worm wasn't cutting it. I wish, huh? Swim with the fishes, huh? That don't sound like just the usual talk. Where did you hear this? I literally just walked past them, and they were literally talking. I don't know, huh? Mm -hmm. Well, I actually speak louder than words. I'll just keep my eyes on. Portland, thanks for heads up. Well, there's more that I think you should hear of. Oh, yeah. Jesse said to Elizabeth that he thinks he's gonna go back to Kitty Cats, then be then to be a snake charmer. I wish, huh? Yeah. Might be strange for Jesse to say. I reckon I'll have a talk with him about the, this when the time is right. Well, you better hurry up before it's too late because it seems like Jesse's about to walk out of here with Elizabeth. <laughs> All right. Well, I feel like you should write something down too uh, to give to Jesse just to let let him know how you feel. Oh, well, how the hell? Might be, it'll be a bad idea. A few words on paper might make things clear for Jesse. <laughs> Seems like you found someone more exciting to the lasso. I reckon it's time for me to mosey on. Take care, partner. Where you at, nigga? Where you at, nigga? Where you at, nigga? My tarnation Emmett Dunn broke up with me through a letter. I need to wrangle him up pronto. What should I say to that honorary critter when I see him? Tell him that only lowly cowpoke break up through letters. Uh -huh. Through letters. Let's say through letters. Yes, sir. That's mighty fine advice. 
I let him know that a real cowboy fit. Okay, all right, damn. Hey, that knowing. Jesse, this ain't working out. You've been talking about leaving me for someone else. I oh, no, no. Well, I mean, if you think I'm staying with a dull cowboy like you, you got another thing coming. Only lowly cowboy break up through Whoa. letters. Two letters. So be it, Jesse. I ain't gonna beg you to stay. But don't go cry back to me. Uh -huh. you really, okay. mm -hmm. Crying back to you? Ha! I'd rather wrestle a bear. You and your stoic ways make me want to run for, for the hills faster than the uh -huh. tunnel. Well, Jesse, you can take care, take your sparkling boots and flashy buckle with you. I ain't gonna miss uh -huh. you. Damn, they can talk. Ah, damn, let me read it. Yeah, drop, drop, drop. You ain't seen the no, see drop till you see a lot of dancing with someone. You ain't real. Oh, God damn, okay. Shit. Alright, now, now you're gonna pause when I, when I, when I try to read fast now. Well, looks like I broke up that mountain. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Ah! 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 Cupid greets us with his presence. Do tread lightly, my good fellow, for I fear you may aim your arrow at the wrong heart tonight. Well, I came to tell you that Mr. Darcy is aiming his arrow at multiple hearts. Nah. That's quite the accusation. Pray tell, do you have proof to back up such scandalous uh, claim? Who can I speak to? Who can I speak to? Well, I saw him getting touchy feely up on Bell. Um, you might want to look over there for a bit. Touchy feely, you say? How scandalous! Perhaps I should take a leisure stroll over to where Miss Bell and Darcy is conversing, <laughs> just to satisfy my own curiosity. Well, just be warned, you might get hurt on the process of doing so. And uh, I think I overheard Mr. Darcy say something too to Bell as well. Uh -huh. My goodness, Cupid! What a tangled web! Uh, what have you weaved? What have you weaved, bitch? Well, Belle told Mr. Darcy that Beast can't satisfy her, and Mr. Darcy said that he can possibly satisfy her, all her needs. I was, huh? The audacity to offer herself as a replacement for Beast. <laughs> I mean, it was just his character. Thank you, bitch. Yo, this game is nasty. What do you suggest I do with this newfound uh, uh, information? Well, it sounds like Mr. Darcy's, Darcy's trying to cheat on you. So I say try to break up with him and make sure you write a letter. Nah. Oh, Cupid, it pains me to even consider such a betrayal from Mr. Darcy, but perhaps I shall investigate further before making any rash decisions. Thank you for your input, my dear matchmaking friend. Well, um, just to give you a heads up, it sounds like uh, Mr. Darcy said to Belle that they will meet after the party, so... <laughs> I've decided to part ways with you quicker than you can say <laughs> arrogant aristocrat. Cupid spilled the well don't put my name in this bitch. Hold on, hell no. She put my name in. I'm put my put this shit back on it. Hold on. What is my man nigga? Ooh, she's over there talking shit to him. 
What on earth is this scandalous gibberish Elizabeth has panned? I shall confront her this instant. Any advice on how, how to respond to her impertinence? Well, tell her if she didn't smell like fish, maybe you would have looked somewhere else. La la la! Oh, well, ho! Cupid revealed <laughs> your devious plan, Mr. Darcy. Offer yourself a replacement for Mel. Needs and planted a secret love. Oh, Elizabeth, you didn't smell like fish. <laughs> How dare you assault my scent, you pompous toad. I never want to see your face again. <laughs> Good riddance, Miss Bennett. I shall find someone more suited for my refined taste. Yeah, no, I'll find that. someone who can stand your insufferable arrogance, Mr. Darcy. Farewell. Yeah, I well, am. I have food? Indeed, farewell, Mrs. Bennett. I must say, this breakup has been quite entertaining. Adieu. Sheesh. Sheesh. Think we can go? Think we can go for one more? You think we can go for one more? A happy relationship with Hades? Oh shit. <laughs> oh, Cupid. How lovely, how, how lovely of you to, to grace us with your presence at this enchanting soiree. May your arrows of love hit their targets flawlessly tonight. I thank you, Persephone. How are you on this fine evening? I hope you're doing great without all the rumors being spread around. Come on. Oh, Cupid, your kindness warms my heart. I'm basking in the glow of the festival, uh, the festive gatherings. Despite the occasional whispers that may try to bell, uh, cloud this uh, blissful atmosphere. But tell me, dear yeah, Cupid, what rumors have you heard? Well, it's about Hades. And some of them ain't rumors. I overheard him speak about some certain things. Oh, you, all right. All right, cool. Where Hades at? Where that nigga at? Where that nigga at, real quick? Yo, bro, brother man. Ah, Whoa, well, if it isn't Cupid himself, I hope you're not, uh, you're not here to cause any mischief at my Valentine's party. Brother man, I'm trying to cause love and happiness, but uh, there's something I need to tell you about Persephone. I don't want them. I overheard her speaking to Belle and Elizabeth, and she said that Zeus is more of a god than you'll ever be. Hey! She said, how dare she, she compare me to that thunderous fool? <laughs> are, you sure, are you sure about what you heard, Cupid? <sighs> I'm pretty sure, man. And she said that his thunder strikes are so electric. La, la, la. Enough of his blasphemy. <laughs> if Persephone truly feels this way, I must address this issue immediately. Thank you for bringing this up to my attention. That's not the only person she was talking about. Who else well, she's talking about, Cupid? I must have known the full extent of her words. She said that she was also checking out Hercules. She says something about a big strong man always put her in her place. No, the hell, <laughs> This fools me, Cupid. If my beloved Persephone heart truly strays so easily, perhaps I'm blind to her desires. Thank you for your honesty. 
No problem. And uh, just one more thing. I think I heard her say something about Zeus and Hercules running a tag team on her. Hold on. <laughs> I must be kidding. <laughs> her betrayal knows no bounds. I must reconsider her etern my eternal bond with Persephone. Thank you, Cupid, for enlightening me. Oh man, you better write a letter to her, cause uh, this this is outrageous. Uh, eternal bond the scene is broken. Oh, mama. Mm. Why my character dancing? Why my character hitting that shit? <laughs> He said, after my conversation with Cupid, I cannot ignore the comparisons you make to Zeus and your attraction to Hercules and the scandalous scenarios you had mentioned involving them. Oh my God, I hereby break up with you <laughs> and rescind our eternal bond. Shodei! What is this madness? <laughs> I must find Hades immediately. What should I what should I do to this? <laughs> what should I say to him when I confront him? Tell him that a two man with Zeus and Hercules is better than his extinguished flames. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, huh. I'm right. Cupid revealed your betrayal, Persephone. How dare you compare me to Zeus and lust after Hercules? Our eternal Come bond on. is shattered. Oh, Hades, darling, don't be stiff. A little threesome with Zeus and Hercules is more thrilling Damn. than your extinguished flames. Oh. Hello, let me see me. Hello. Verify. 